Hello, hello. Welcome to the Deborah Berry channel. If this is your first time, I am Deborah Berry and this channel is all about fashion and styling and dressing up and dressing down and doing everything we can ladies to hold on to our pretty. To my returning subscribers, welcome back. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love you give me each week and the support you show me. I love it, I love it, I love it. And ladies, did you enjoy last week's video? I celebrated my 100th video with YouTube. So this is 101 plus all the shorts. Before we begin, I'll show you the, I'll talk about the lipstick. I brought it in here. Cause we always want to do lipstick of the day. Sometimes I forget. I wanted something a little different. This is the Estee Lauder um, Nail Color Envy. It's 420. It's called Rebellious Rose. Even I did. It's kind of a dark rosy color. Kind of nice though. Pretty. Plus, I love the case. I love it when Lauder does these beautiful little cases. I have a red one like this, and this is a pretty rosy pink color. Now that that's out of the way, I can sit it over here, I guess. Yes. I'm in my bedroom just trying to have a little different background, get out of the studio for a minute and uh, talk to you. And my hair, I don't know what to do. It's just when your hair gets so thin and it just wants to do what it wants to do, the only thing you can do is grow it out, ladies. <laughs> Listen to me, grow it out and pull it up in the top knot. And that's all I did. You know, you curly haired gals, you know what I'm talking about. I sprayed it with the, the uh, spray to dampen it and I just twisted it up because I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss. But I'm not going to let that steal my pretty and you shouldn't let it steal yours either. So this, today's video, let me get to that. But let me share something with you first. I want to share something with you. And I don't know. Maybe it's too much, but I'm talking to you right now with phony teeth in the bottom of my mouth. I have what's called flipper teeth. I had some dental work done, excruciating dental work done. I had a cyst inside my lower gum that just kept growing and getting infected. And we treated with antibiotics. We've done root canals and everything. It's just been a mess for the last couple of years. So ended up we had to extract i repeat extract a, that dead tooth and because it was my two lower bottom teeth we had to extract the tooth next to it i felt like you know when you people get breast cancer and they have to take one well, let's take both of them i had to sacrifice a good tooth to get for them for the dentist to get to that cyst that was in there and you should have seen it he pulled it out and showed it to me Ugh. But I'm on the road to recovery, so I have what's called flipper teeth. It looks like Invisalign down here. It's kind of cool. And um, you can't eat with it in your mouth, but I told him, I gotta make videos. <laughs> Come on, Doc, I gotta do videos. I can't have this big hole in the front of my mouth. And he said, don't worry, you won't. You'll have, I'll fix it. So I've gotta wear this for about six weeks till everything heals and uh, then I'll get the permanent bridge. I wasn't a candidate for the implants, which thank God they're, they're, they're a little costly. So I'm talking to you now. I just want to share that with you and, and let me know, have you had to have ever wore, I didn't even know what a flipper tooth was. So I guess you live and learn and I guess it's 70. What else, what else is coming up? But you keep on, you keep on going, ladies. And that's what we have to do. We have to support one another and keep going. And I'm not gonna let it steal my pretty. You know, the hair is trying to take it and the wrinkles are trying to take it. But I don't know, sometimes wrinkles are character and they can be beautiful in their own way. And I'm gonna go with that and I'm gonna stick with that. Now, I'm off the soapbox. I'm okay, I'm healing. I mean, I was so swollen and sore, but I'm coming back, learning to talk with this thing in my mouth, because I have to be here for you, because I got some things to show you. And um, like I said, I went, I went, I can't remember when I was in the mall, but I bought these pieces. You know, it's the end of summer, sales everywhere. I went in uh, Banana Republic and 
I'm telling you, if I could only wear Banana Republic clothes, I'd be all right. You know, though I love other stuff, just as I love Ralph and I love um, Vince Camuto and I love all the big designers, you know. But anyway, back to this. <laughs> I'm rambling. I'm excited to be here though. And, and um, I was in Banana Republic. I stopped in there and remember my um, tuxedo blazer. I'll put a picture up here of the, the off-white tuxedo blazer that I love so much. I found it in another color. I think I might have told you I found it in another color. So I'm going to show that to you today. I'm going to show you that at the end of the video. So stick around for that. You're going to love the color. But I found a couple of pieces that I had been watching. And you know, Banana had that sale and they had 50% off the markdown price. That was in the stores. I don't know if it was online. And I was able to get uh, two blaze, two more blazers plus that that tuxedo blazer and I got a pair of pants and uh, I'm gonna put those pieces together and show them to you today and hey they may still be ha I've seen them still I'm still getting emails about the sale so I don't know if you're getting extra off but hey there'll be something left and if it's for you it's for you that's what I always say if it's for you it's for you so we are going to model for you today look at me we are going to I am going to uh, put together uh, it's just uh, four looks total, I guess. Let's see, the one, two, three jackets. I guess it's three looks. We'll figure it out. Anyway, thank you, thank you for joining me. Thank you, thank you for being part of the Deborah Berry fan club or Deborah Berry whatever. I love you all for that, and I try to leave a little kindness everywhere I go. And my kindness to you is thank you for being here with me. So, let me show you the first outfit and we'll get started. Don't you just love powder blue ladies? Oh, I love this blazer. I was walking through Banana Republic and saw this. I saw it back in the spring when I couldn't afford it. But look at this blazer. I just, well, I'll let you look at the whole look. I pulled out my Kate Spade black and white polka dot classic black slacks that I already had. I mean, if you don't have a classic pair of black slacks in your wardrobe, it's part of a capsule must have in every lady's wardrobe. And these I've had, they're from Ann Taylor. I've had them a while and they're perfect. And I just have on my, uh, remember the, uh, I think Alfani, the suede, Sandra, I have, I have it in white leather and I have it in this suede with the little spool heel. Let you look at that. It works well with this while we're transitioning. You know, once it gets cold, I'll have to have a closed in shoe. But I thought I'd do this. I put on silver accessories and this bag has the silver on it. Not that it has to have silver. Or I could do, I thought about this one too, the powder blue one, though I'm going to show you with the next look. This bag really pops with the next one. And you could do the blue. I think it's kind of nice, the blue on blue. Wow, that looks pretty cool too, huh? That blue on blue is nice. It's my Teddy Blake. You have to get one, ladies. Teddy Blake and that powder blue. I'm looking at that and I'm really liking that. So you've got powder blue here. You've got Kate Spade here with the black and white. And it's good what mood you're in and where you're going and how you're feeling. But let me show you the details on this jacket. Banana, banana, banana. First of all, it has a little button here with a little loop. Look at that detail. And if you wanted to pull the sleeves, you know, fold them back, you could do that. I haven't unfastened this one yet. Get it unfastened for you. Let me take both of my hands out. Anyway, we're not going to waste time with that, but you get the gist. I can just fold it back this way. But if you wanted to do that look, is what I'm saying. It's got the extra pocket here. I love It's got the pockets here. It has a vent. You know me, I'd rather have no vent, but that's not bad. It's cut nice. This is a size four. And I love the lapels. And of course, it gives you two 
not worn two inside pockets, ladies. Finally, a ladies blazer with inside pockets. Banana got the memo. Banana got the assignment and did quite well. But this is just great. I wanted to just do this simple. I did order the pants to these. They came, and when I tell you they were too little, which is amazingly crazy to me because the next one outfit I'm gonna show you is the same jacket, same style pants. I tried those on in the store, they had them. I got them in a size six. I ordered a six, <laughs> baby. <laughs> They looked like they were a four. So I took them back and, and I went back online and they were sold out in my in a, a eight. I needed an eight just to try to find the pants of these. How many people needed powder blue pants? I don't know. But I said, I'll keep this little jacket. I love that it's long. I love the long jackets. And I love wearing it just with a simple band collar blouse that I've had in my wardrobe. You know, and this could be belted too and look really great, ladies. This is a four. I could have bought a six, but the shoulders fit perfect. And at that point, when I was in the store, you know, when you're getting that sale at those great prices, you don't have a lot of options on, well, maybe I'll get this size, and maybe I'll get that size. You get what you can get, right? And that's what I did. I got what I could got, get. Yes, I got. But ladies, look at this. This is just a great look. I want to give you a full look of this. Black slacks. Wear this later with some, some khakis. You could put this on with some black denim. You could even put this blazer on with your, some dark denim. Would look nice. Of course, I didn't do it to you, but you know I will wear it next spring with my white pleated mango skirt. You know I put <laughs> that skirt on with everything. And if I could find one, I'm going to be on the lookout for me a wool pleated skirt that's long enough and nice. Uh, I might have to pay a pretty penny for it, but I want to get me a sweater knit white cream colored skirt for the new season. But classic straight pants, black, black, and then put it with the, I put the black with it, but either purse, ladies, remember, either purse. It'll do if you want to do blue. I love that. If you want to be a little dramatic because of the black pants, that pops that. So, I'll show you the next look. And meanwhile, don't go away. Be right back. Is she ready or is she ready? Mm. Look! You know, some clothes you put on, they just excite you. This excites me. Look at this. This is the exact same blazer as the powder blue. And it is off-white and it has a blue stripe in it. Blue, gray looking stripe in it. And I just put on a linen shirt. Uh, Antonio Milano from last, last spring, I think I bought it linen it's long I left it out it's a very long long blouse which I think works with this put the pearls on one of my favorite flower pins a little bit of Vivian Westwood here gold hoops and I didn't really have any off-white shoes I want you to look at these shoes it's the Alfani shoes in white which I could get get by if I wore it now somewhere you know to keep it going but I want to get me like a probably a bone color or a gray a blue gray color would be pretty with this but this will work in the meantime and I pulled out my Tory Burch you know I love me some Tory Burch this is one of my first Tory Burches that I ever had my husband bought me but I think it works well with this with the chains and the off-white I love this look. I love this look, ladies. This. I really was excited. And there was a vest to this, and they, they're out of my size. They have a vest. They have a blue vest, too, with the others. But these are the pants. The pants fit perfect. There are six. They really fit good. Got pockets here. Got pockets there. You know, just a nice pair of slacks. 
And they were long enough? I mean, they were like a 33 inseam, which was like, whoa, and that was the regular. Which is why I jumped on the blue ones, but they didn't fit. And this is size six, but this jacket again is a four. It's the same button detail to, uh, to the sleeves. I think that's so adorable. Of course, you know, it's got the two pockets, the two inside pockets. I love it, I love it, I love it. You know, it's not lined, it's just stitching, but it's just so well tailored. All the trim and the, oh, oh, oh. And I couldn't resist putting this flower up here. You know I love a flower. I am a flower, flower, flower person. If I can find a way to put a flower, I'm looking for me. If you know where, I want a really big one. I want a really, really big one. I may have to check on what is it, Etsy or something? But and meanwhile, ladies, check it out, check it out, check it out. It's gorgeous. This is me. This is when I feel my most comfortable, my most glamorous, is when I have on good tailored pieces that fit well, that are easy to wear. You know, I like no fuss dressing. I don't want to have to keep adjusting and pulling and tugging and wondering about this. I love no fuss dressing and I love classic, simple, and pretty. My fashion, my style, my age, my choice. This is my choice. How you like it, ladies? I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I will list all this down there. If there's still some, jump on it. There's gonna always be one or two pieces left. And when I tell you Banana Republic has some new pieces that are going to break the bank, they have a bronze leather trench coat. Mm, it's in golden leather, $950. <laughs> you won't see that on Mrs. Barry. <laughs> but if they mark it down, which they may, they may even at half, that's still a lot, but it is gorgeous. But I digress. Right now, we're transitioning. You know, I could put this blazer on with some darker pants and you know, get somewhere out of, out of it, but just think when spring comes around. Oh, I'm gonna be so ready. This will be great for when spring comes next year and you want something to put on, you're ready. And that's the main thing about buying the end of the, get those summer pieces, you know, close to um, autumn and they're gonna be perfect come spring. You just pull them out, spring comes and you got some pieces out ready, you know put some things on with this. But I'll let you look at this one more time. Now I'm gonna put on that finale piece, which this should have been the finale, as beautiful as it is. But I'll put that on to show you it's, it's the, the hues are darker and more bronzier and browns I'm gonna put on with it to take us into the fall. Cause it's coming. Anyway, I'll be right back. Look at the color, look at the color, look at the color. Look at this jacket. This is just like the off-white one. Except it's in this beautiful brown and golden set. Look, just look. I'm gonna give you a minute to look. It is gorgeous. I could not, I was like, look at that jacket. They did it in another color. I don't remember seeing it online like this. Maybe once, I think, but I think they had some satin pants, but my, oh my, I just kept it simple. I just threw this little blouse on, this skirt, to try to go with a little brown with it, but I just put on some shoes, old, old, uh, I can't remember, uh, Benelli shoes from Marmy from a thousand years ago, of course, but look at this. And the little clear bag goes so well with it. My Landry bag, I'll list it again. It's at Dillard's. Perfect little bag to carry with this look. Oh my God. <laughs> it is worth the finale. Can you imagine this lady? Look at that set. And again, well made. You've got your pockets here. It's got 
all this look at that all the detail at the lining and the seams going around and it does have an ins inside pocket up here oh my god and of course no vent no vent no vent no vent you know i love a no vent but just want to I love this. I got this and I was steaming it yesterday and noticed a, a line on the sleeve. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it. It looks like an ink pen. I was like, I don't care. I am keeping this. Let me get it clean, you know. I was seeing something else on it, but I mean, it was marked down and I grabbed it. I love it. I'm trying to think of other things I could wear with it to really enhance it when uh, the weather, it'll go over. I will love putting this with denim and dressing something down or a pair of, of charcoal, not charcoal, chocolate brown pants that are kind of fitted. Just so many looks. So it's like, get, get your basic jackets, ladies. Get you some blazers that are papau and work with them in your wardrobe and do things with them and you will probably see this again because i am going to come up with some more looks to go with these but i try to show you initially when i come across something bam look at this what do we do with this this is how i styled it today but it's in my wardrobe it's there to be styled forever and ever and ever because it's classic it's simple and of course it's pretty and it's what we need and what, you know, what excites us. When you get a good piece, you get excited about it. You're like, whoa, I can't wait to put it on and wear it. Can you imagine this even with some, even with, with oranges, you know, coral colors, with, on some deep yellow, on a green. It's just, this color is just a great color. And of course it'll go with black too but i think the cream really brings it out and in the summer even a white white would bring it out it would be really really cool but I, I i just love it love it love it love it so i hope you had a good time and remember as always leave a little kindness everywhere you go and you know i'm here every thursday don't forget every thursday i'll be back meanwhile keep it classic Keep it simple and do everything you can to make it all so pretty. Love you guys and I will see you next week. Bye.